Often, the key to any victory is to understand fully your opponent. This is especially true when that opponent is a significant foodborne bacterial pathogen such as E. coli 0157H7. Dr. Philip Hardwidge, Associate Professor in Diagnostic Medicine Pathobiology, and his lab are seeking to understand fully how pathogens such as E. coli use proteins to block a host's innate immune system. This system is the body's first defense against infection, often presented in the body's mucosal surfaces, such as those found in the intestine. In terms of infectious disease, this inhibition of the human innate immune response is absolutely critical for the bacterium's ability to cause an infection. So if we can identify choke points in the interaction between the bacterium and the host, we may be able to, to inhibit the bacterium and prevent its survival in an infected human being. Dr. Hardwidge's lab is currently participating in a National Institutes of Health grant to explore a protein expressed by pathogenic E. coli known as NLEH1, which inhibits an important cellular signaling pathway called I-kappa kinase NF-kappa B. This protein is one example of an injected uh, bacterial protein that is able to to block the innate immune system. So th this protein has a kind of an unusual mechanism that, that had not been seen in other bacterial or viral pathogens. So we're, we're interested in understanding more about how this protein really works and whether it might represent a good target for future therapeutics. The exploration of these host pathogen interactions requires the lab to use multidisciplinary approaches, including using animal models and advanced technologies such as quantitative PCR. One of the beauties of, of qPCR, quantitative PCR, is that you can, it gives a, a, a really reliable and easily defined comparative number of gene expression. It, it looks at a snapshot in time in that, in that cellular environment. And it can tell us that at that snapshot of time, in that window, what the expression levels are of the genes we're interested in. Understanding how these bacterial proteins function in the host pathogen interaction may also have exciting applications for other human diseases. For example, many autoimmune diseases, many cancers, and even diabetes are caused in part by an overactive component of this innate immune system. So using information from bacteria and viruses that have evolved to block this overactive immune response, uh, we may be able to engineer some of these bacterial proteins as potential therapeutics. Through collaborations at K-State and his position as a Chinese Academy of Sciences senior international scientist, Dr. Hardwidge's future research will also explore both the role that the microbes that naturally live in the human body have in host pathogen interactions and other forms of E. coli that afflict humans. Armed with this knowledge, researchers at the Kansas State University College of Veterinary Medicine will be able to reveal new strategies for defeating pathogens such as E. coli 0157H7.